Welcome, welcome everyone. My name is Sean, and today I want to talk about an instance of cosmic justice for the greatest congresswoman in the history of Congress, somebody who we just made a video about, and then all of a sudden there's new breaking news related to her, and that of course is Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, the woman who recently went on MSNBC and said the border crisis doesn't exist you're just a racist, it's your evil white racism, that I covered in a previous video, was actually confronted by leftist protesters that are angry that supposedly Ocasio-Cortez is too pro-Israel and doesn't suck up to the Gazistanis enough. We're going to get into this, we're going to talk about this, but before we do, I want to thank everybody who signed up over at actualjusticewarrior.com slash join. I give me the money. Give you, give me the money. Okay. And remind you that I will be at the Minds Fest event in Austin, Texas on April 27th. That's a Saturday. Link in the description for tickets. You refuse to call it a genocide. So right here, you're seeing the opening of this video of Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez leaving a movie theater with her fiance, Riley Roberts, the ginger guy who was seen in that Alex Stein video looking kind of... Um, you know what? I'm, I'm not even going to finish that thought. And normally, and I mean normally, I would not be supportive of this. In fact, I've talked about on this channel how confronting people at restaurants, protesting outside of their homes and all that is ridiculous and absurd. It adds an unnecessary level of threat to your actions. So I don't think in the normal circumstances this is appropriate. However, I do want to point out a couple of things. First and foremost, this is a movie theater, like, mall area. She's going down an escalator. So this is, in fact, a public place. So on the scale of where you should or shouldn't be able to confront people, this would obviously be on the better end of that particular scale. Secondly, Ocasio-Cortez is going to a movie theater in Brooklyn. Ocasio-Cortez is the representative for Queens, parts of Queens, and the Bronx. So I don't, I don't know why... They went all the way over there to see the movie. They're, they're trying to see Dune 2, I'm assuming, and they play that in every theater. It, it, it doesn't make any sense, totally outside of her district. But thirdly, the reason why I'm kind of laughing at this more than I would in other circumstances is because few politicians, more than Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez herself, have praised the tactic of leftist protesters confronting conservatives, whether they be at the homes of the Supreme Court justices, which, by the way, she still, like many other leftists, tweeted out support for that tactic after the person was caught and arrested for trying to assassinate Brett Kavanaugh, then Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. In fact, when people were being confronted in restaurants, being denied service, and all these different viral videos came out, Ocasio-Cortez went out of her way to say protests are meant to be uncomfortable because she liked the idea of leftist protesters confronting conservative politicians because she thought it would never come around to bite her. Now, in the last video, I actually compared Ocasio-Cortez to a squirrel because she lacks the memory, forward thinking, and whatnot of us normal sane individuals because obviously this was going to come around to bite her back and it definitely did and the fact that it were lefty protesters makes it even more funny. You refuse to call it a genocide. No, I, I, I need you to understand. It's not okay that there's a genocide happening you're not actively against it. So she gets up in this guy's face right here, who, by the way, is wearing a mask, more leftist than Ocasio-Cortez right there, and she says, this is not okay. It's not okay to confront Ocasio-Cortez in the movie theater, which again is a public place, not even inside the theater, but in the lobby area where you're going down the escalators, but it is okay to go to the Supreme Court justices' houses in order to intimidate them for them not ruling the way that you wanted on abortion. That, that, that is perfectly okay, but they're angry about this alleged genocide that is happening in Gaza right now at the hands of Israel. And what I find amazing about this is that they think Ocasio-Cortez is not pro-Hamas enough, not pro-Gazistan enough. And this is because they're even further fringier lefties. And this is how they act whenever they sense even a little bit of a hint of dissent, even from people on their own side. So she's saying you're lying because she's saying that she is against it and all that. But she also very much is emphasizing that it's not okay for you to confront her. Also, and this is incredibly important, for those of you who say Ocasio-Cortez is not attractive, are, are you crazy? She, she looks good here. I mean, uh, the leather jacket, 
It, it's totally working. You guys are wrong. You zoom in awkwardly on her face, and you don't realize we're also talking about members of Congress. It's, this is an attractive lady. So so this is even more fun in that regard as well. I'm lying. You're not, you went on TV and avoided talking about it. But what? You're not laughing. You're not The next thing I also want to point out is that Ocasio-Cortez is very aggressive with these peaceful protesters that are just making her uncomfortable, which again is something that she very famously advocated for. Look at the way she gets right up in the grill of that woman. She picks out one of the weaker looking ones calls her a liar we can't really hear that we're just going based on the fact that she says we're not lying and all that but you can see she gets her backed up against the post which is wildly inappropriate one would imagine when you're dealing with either protesters or members of the press and again we're talking left-wing protesters and left-wing members of the press they're upset that Gazastan is suffering too much and Ocasio-Cortez is too pro-Israel in their mind Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is too pro-Israel for them. So this is definitely further left kind of politics right there. You haven't been calling it a genocide. Don't tell me I'm lying. Oh, then just say it's a genocide. Just say it. Over 30,000 people are, de are dead, AOC. You can't just say it for once. Just say the word. That's it. That's all we want you to say. So I do like the fact that they're saying that, look, 30,000 people are dead. Just say the word, call it a genocide. Just use the word. That's all we want you to say. And honestly, I've watched a lot of the debates between the Israeli-Palestinian side on the internet.com. And one of the things that I notice is that a lot of people, especially from the left-wing pro-Gaza side, I do know that there is a right-wing anti-Israel side as well, just want you to use certain magical words, regardless of whether or not that's actually going to change any conditions on the ground so this is a leftism 101 related to this topic and by the way if you guys want my opinion on whether or not it's a genocide i say no genocide is not when you're losing a war also i'm not in favor of a ceasefire let me make that clear if ceasefires created peace israel palestine would be the most peaceful region in the entire world this idea that we're going to prolong this conflict with the same exact tactic by preventing one side from winning it over and over and over again is why this thing it gets perpetuated throughout all of time it's why it's not going to end and i'm sick of it i will link this article it's called cease ceasefires which will be linked in the description it puts this argument in terms that i think everybody can understand because even in the largely pro-israeli american mainstream media they never seem to make this case they continue to follow alexandria ocasio-cortez and again i've actually seen way more disrespectful protesters to be perfectly fair to these lefties who i couldn't disagree with more on the substance because they're following at a reasonable distance and if this were a normal politician who didn't directly call for this who didn't say that this is what protesters are supposed to do and by the way this is also in public they are on a street then I would be more on Ocasio-Cortez's side. But Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez thinks that if you're a right-wing person, if you're somebody who disagrees with her, you deserve to be harassed while having dinner. You deserve to be harassed in your own home and all that. So to me, her being upset about this should generate no sympathy from anyone at all whatsoever. On top of that, this is somebody who just recently denied that the migrant crisis existed. So the idea that somebody could be that bad on a domestic issue and people are talking to her about Israel and Gaza nonsense in every possible way. I mean, just her policies and her arguments in favor of mass migration into the United States of America should be the number one critique of her at this moment in time. But again, these are lefties. So they're going to do lefty things like bring up ridiculous, irrelevant stuff. That's it. Cut it and you're going to cut this and you're going to clip this so that it's completely out of context. I already said that it was, and y'all are just gonna pretend that it wasn't over and over again. It's up, man. And you're, you're not helping these people, TV. and you're not helping them. You refuse to. You're not helping them. 
So here you have Ocasio-Cortez saying that she already called it a genocide. That's what she means when she says she already said that it was, which I find to be kind of interesting because throughout the course of this particular video, she is not saying that. Like, she's not saying the magic word, which is what these people want from her. And she's saying that it's not helping these people. You're not going to help the Gazistanis by, by confronting me on the street and it's effed up. And she actually does swear I bleeped it out because of YouTube serves a service. But I find that to be incredibly interesting that she won't say that yet she's saying she said it which makes me think that Ocasio-Cortez has not actually called it a genocide now she's been against Israel she's been against the war and all that but I don't think she's actually said this publicly again correct me if I'm wrong but normally she would be like oh yeah I definitely believe that and by the way I think she does believe that it is I mean she's a very anti-American lefty and just the fact that Israel is aligned with the United States of America is enough for her to hate that particular nation but it's still interesting how she's upset because these people aren't changing anything by confronting her when she's not changing anything by whining or getting mad at them or anything like that and again she's a member of congress so getting in her face getting up in her grill seems like it would make sense now to be clear if i were to compare ocasio cortez to somebody like cory bush who's non-muslim rashida talib who is a muslim or ilhan omar they clearly and obviously are going above and beyond where she is at this particular issue at least from my perception as somebody who hasn't been monitoring the squad's position on this all that much so i guess by these people's insane standards in that regard she's not far left enough on this particular issue but to me this story is all about not the substance of the issue it's about the fact that ocasio cortez got a taste of her own medicine and it was from lefty protesters so she can't even blame the right-wing media and the right-wing harassment and everybody just trying to sexually harass her and all that she only has to blame herself and of course she never will because she never takes personal accountability but remember Remember and never forget this is the world that ocasio cortez asked for she thinks that if you're a supreme court justice and you rule the wrong way based on constitutional merits then people should be able to go outside your home harass you and that harassment should continue even after somebody plots an assassination attempt against you she thinks if you're a republican out to dinner with your family you should be harassed in that restaurant by random people heckled because there is no inappropriate time and honestly those inappropriate times to just make you more uncomfortable and it is the job of protest to make politicians uncomfortable these people did a much milder version of that she was in public she had left the movie theater she was on a sidewalk in brooklyn new york this is way more fair game than anything she advocated for so no i don't feel sympathetic for her at all anyway that's all i really have for you guys today thank you so much for watching as usual if you like this video then show them by leaving a like subscribe for more content follow me on my social media support me via the support links in the description of this video this has been me talking about ocasio cortez getting what she asked for till next time